welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated brow tutorial. I've been getting a bunch of requests for an updated brow routine, so I'm going to show you how I do this fluffy, like laminated brow look. Um, I did do one a few months ago, but I've updated my routine since then, so I will tell you all about it and how I did it and how you can get that look too. <laughs> Um, so let's jump into the video. These are my natural brows. Um, I definitely over plucked them when thin brows were in and there are some areas where brow hairs just don't really grow back. That kind of helps me because I don't really have to do a lot to maintain them. I'll get some stray hairs down here and up top and I'll just pluck them off with a tweezer so I don't ever wax them or get them threaded. Um, they're not laminated or microbladed or anything so what you see is what you get. My brow hair texture is also very coarse and thick. They're also very stiff. So if you have brow hairs like mine, then this tutorial is probably the most fitted for you because I think brow texture really plays a part in how you can do your brows and what kind of products you can use. Um, there are definitely certain brow products that just don't work for my brows because they're not strong enough or they don't have enough holding power uh, so it just doesn't work i did a fluffy brow tutorial a few months ago using patrick ta's shaping wax and i loved that product every time i used it it just gave me really beautiful fluffy brows but over time the more i used it and like when things started opening back up and i would spend more of my day outside i noticed that the ends of my brows would start to fall back down like they wouldn't stay up or stay in place um, especially when I had bangs, it would just rub up against it and move around a lot. So it made it really difficult because I don't like touching up when I'm outside, especially when you have thick brows like that. It's just a lot. So I got my hands on the Got To Be Styling Spiking Glue. I'd heard so many good things about this and how it just really holds your brow in place. This is for like the hair on your head, but I had seen so many people use it on their brows. My friend Ryan, he used it on his brows and it looked so good. So I have been practicing with this for a few months, making sure I get it down right before I filmed this tutorial. So we'll start with this. Usually what I do is I get a spoolie and it's always best to use clean brushes anytime you do your makeup. But you know, sometimes it's just not possible. You don't have time to clean your brushes every day. So just use what you can and you're just gonna get a little bit of the gel on the spoolie, like spread it all throughout. And we're just going to comb through the brow hairs. You want to coat every strand, but you also don't want to use too much. It can be a pretty fine line sometimes. <laughs> so just coat the hairs and push it up. I'm going to let it dry just a little bit and then I'm going to take the end of one of my longer brushes and then push and lay the brows down against my face. Sometimes if it's too wet, it just won't work. I like to brush out clumps, like where hairs are sticking too much together because That'll affect how fluffy it'll look. Then I just like to take the spoolie again and brush the hairs down like this to give it some shape. And it will feel sticky on your face. You can see it really just lifts up your face. So now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna push it up. Try to single out the strand so that they're not too clumped together or too thick. Take a spoolie and just brush your brows and shape them. I kind of like it where the front of my brow hairs are a little more upwards and then towards the middle and back I brush them downwards so they're angled. It's like a little facelift. It's kind of wild. <laughs> so sometimes when I do this I get a little bit of gel like above my brows. Usually I'll just take my cellar water and a q-tip and just clean that up a little bit. I do have foundation on, so it'll rub a little bit of that off, but that's totally okay. I just wanna make sure it's clean. I've seen a lot of people use different eyebrow products to then fill in the brows from like eyebrow pencil to pomade to really nice thin brushes. I still love using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I've been using this since I first learned how to use it from Claire Marshall. It just gives me the nicest brows that last pretty much the whole day. I don't have to fuss about it. I don't have to worry about it. This little pot lasts a really long time for me, but the thing is it does dry over time and if you've used pomade before, you know it dries out 
pretty quickly after you open it. So I like to use the Inglot Duraline solution. A little bit of this goes a really long way, but I will say this does not travel very well. Anytime I've traveled with this, it ends up leaking out of the bottle. So I like to just take a little bit of this. You don't need much and I'll just drop it into the jar let it sit for a while and like mix everything together it just helps to soften the pomade again so that it's more smooth and easy to work with it's not like thick and goopy you don't want that you want like the smoothest texture possible and the brush i love using for this is the sigma winged liner brush it's a super thin brush that'll help me get really thin strokes in there to make it look as natural as possible <laughs> even though like this is the most unnatural thing for my like Chinese eyebrows. I don't know, makeup is fun like that, right? Now that I've given it time to mix in everything, I take the brush and just dip it into the pot. You don't need a lot to start off with. So I'll brush the excess off onto the lid and you want the brush to be pretty flat. Let's start off with this brow first. Like, it doesn't move. That's how strong the gel is. So I like to start at the very end first right here and just do very light strokes. I always like to start off with less product and then building from there. And then when I actually want to make brow strokes, I'll get a little bit more product and use a heavier hand. And then towards the front, I like to do up and down strokes like this. And then I'll glide it really softly towards the bottom, going horizontally. This does help define it just a little bit more. My brow hairs are like really dark here. I think that's where I tend to have the most brows, so they kind of clumped together. And usually I'll try to like fill in around that to even out the color. Now I'm just going to do the other brow. And again, I'm starting off where I have the least brow hairs. Okay, so this side is like really thick on the bottom, so I'm gonna clean it up. <laughs> I just take my concealer, whichever one is fine. I'm using the Sephora Clear End Cover. Just put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm taking a flat brush and just going to brush up right underneath it to clean it up and reshape it in the way that I want. So here's the final brow look. This is a very bold and intense brow look. I kind of call this like the supermodel brow look because I feel like I always see these fluffy brows on the runway or on like models and photos on Pinterest and stuff. My brows don't naturally look like this even though they're like the natural fluffy brow. So just keep that in mind. Brow trends come and go. I think I said that in my last brow video too. It's all just for fun. It's now 11 o'clock. It's been at least like eight hours since i filmed the eyebrow tutorial and my brows are still on still intact still in place if you try this out let me know i would love to see how it turned out and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye